Hey everyone, so um, it is the next day and we are back <laughs> because there is snow and rain around the corner. So my window is closing. So I figured I might as well take advantage of the nice weather and hunting So while I can. So we are back at the river. Let's see what we can find. Hey, I know I'm probably the only one that gets excited about these. But for me, that right there is a really nice way to start the day. <laughs> Oh, love these things. Okay, so when I go out hunting, I never run into other people like ever, ever, ever. I think I've run into one other person one time other than today. Well, look who I just ran into of out of the river. We're gonna run into <laughs> Here's Montana Rock like, Mob. Hours left, like seriously, count down hours before we get another like three inches, six inches of snow or this something. This is literally what I was saying right at the beginning <laughs> of the video. We are both like trying to maximize our time before the snow shows up. <laughs> Thing. Yes, so, exactly. Loading up and hey, there's one right next to us. <laughs> <laughs> Little, there's but hey, such good stuff everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have. Oh, look at that petrified wood. There's really good. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> petrified wood everywhere. Yeah, I love this area. There's so much nice stuff over here. Dang, that's nice. Look at that. Ooh, that would make such pretty slabs. Look at the red. Oh, look at the red in there. That is so funny. I never run into anyone when I'm rock hunting. And, and I saw, I thought I saw her Jeep when I got here. So I, I had to find out, but yep, sure yeah, enough. I'm not missing a day. It's I'm Montana not. Rock Mom. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. I was on the phone with Alexis. Just found a nice agate right here. Of course I was still hunting while I was on the phone though. And then I found, sorry, I'm trying to figure out how it is one handed. Really nice super banded agate right here. And where is it? Where did I put it? Oh, it's in this pocket. Sorry, guys. One sec. Eh. Eh. Come on, arms work with me. Really, really cool piece of Jasper. Look at that Chalcedony pocket in there. Sorry about my awful lighting, guys. It is overcast today. But as always, close ups back at the shop. All right. Now, there is a keeper fossil concretion. We've got a partial clam right here, partial baculite right here. A uh, couple negatives right there, which are from that clam right there, and this baculite right here, which was on the edge. So it's kind of, you know, only half of it's there. But then we flip it over. That's a lot of baculites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we got to keep that. That's going to prep up amazingly. I think we got a nice Jasper right here. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Wow, that is beautiful. I haven't really found many Jaspers today. It's kind of strange. Usually that's all you can find. Man, well, it might be a petrified wood kind of day. Look at that. Oh, wow. One sec, sorry. And then spray it off. That thing is huge. <laughs> I love the grain in that. I don't know if I want to bring it with me, though. It's kind of a... A heavy rock that looks a lot like a lot of other petrified wood. Hmm. I'm going to set it somewhere where I'll remember it. And if I change my mind on my way back, I'll grab it. If not, it's uh, so long. Now, I think what we have right here is some very agonized wood. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Sweet. I think we have a nice agate right here. Thank you, Floyd. Ooh, that's pretty. Man, that looks super mossy. Heck yeah. Stay out for a little while, son. You're helping me. This is either a nice agate or a dark chert. I'm not sure yet. Oh, looks like an agate. Oh yeah, absolutely an agate. That has great color. Ooh, yeah, that's, that is a very dark agate. Heck yeah, that is gonna be really nice. Every time I come here, I have to come over to this spot because the rocks are much smaller, but man, there's some really, really pretty stuff over here. Nice rainbow colored jaspers and the like. Well, that was funny. So I just found a super weathered baculite. I didn't think there was much in it. So I picked it up, investigated it, and then dropped the concretion and it just pops, the whole thing just exploded and out came the baculite. And lo and behold, it actually still has some sutures. That might be worth polishing. So I will bring that with. Someone else I just, oh yeah, this right here. 
Eh. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta love the Jaspers over here. Ooh, I like the color on this agate. I see some moss. Oh, it's a water line. Nice. Just on the top. None of this down here is. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like it. This is a Jasper. I'm going to be very, very happy. Ooh, I think it is. Oh my gosh. Red and green and orange. Wow. Well, that's enough to get happy about, I think. If that warrants joy or something. Good one, Dante. All right, now that looks like a chunk of agonized wood I'll keep. And this means we can forget about that other one. This will cut way better. Ooh, all right. That right there is gonna be really nice. That's exciting. Oh no, it's starting to rain. Oh no, that's a problem. Dude, I just found a weird little TSA. Look at the white fortification banding, that's awesome. I might, I don't know what I might do. I might tumble that. We'll see, see how I feel. It's all right, I picked this up and sprayed it first. So I had, uh, you know, hands free to actually record it. That is some very, very pretty agonized wood. Sweet. That's awesome. That's a pretty little agate. Oh, hey, there's a little tiny one right next to it. <laughs> That's adorable. And that is... Ow, I actually got some really nice bands. That is pretty. I think I'll take that one. All right, now that's cool. I love finding these and I love cutting them. So that is Jasper with hematite inclusions. And when you cut and polish them, all of those hematite inclusions just turn like a dark metal color. They're really, really cool. So expect to see that again at some point. I don't know when. What is it today with fossil concretions being deceiving? <laughs> Picked one up. Looked like it had some very weathered, like, remnants of one. Didn't look like much, so I just dropped it, and it popped. And oh my gosh, <laughs> those are two very nice baculi. See, the reason I thought it was nothing is because this outside here, I didn't think it went down much farther, but that's a nice baculite. A little one next to it, looks like it's got some nice color. And then this was the other half. Little one in there. Yeah, there's another little one there. Well, I think that's gonna come with. Dang, that will prep up really nice. All right, everyone, we are just about out of time, so I'm just gonna lazily hunt this bar until we have to leave, because why not? We got like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe? Something like that? Hey, there's another agate. Hey, come on, there we go. Almost out of water. I was actually walking down to the water to refill. Uh, is that some banding I see? Hold, please. Ooh, yeah. That's a glower for sure. That is so pretty. I love it when they do that. Now that is some agonized wood. Oh my gosh. Probably won't look like much until I get it cleaned off, but oh man. That is going to be nice right there. Meow. Mm. Jasper? Yeah, Jasper. Alrighty, guys. Well, I think that is all I have time for today. Man, we must, maybe didn't get into many agates, but we got into so much other really good stuff, like the jaspers, the agonized wood, and I cannot believe how many nice fossils we found. Really, I think Kim came through and cleaned up shop. Just kidding, Kim, we love you. That, or, you know, the more likely explanation is that I used up all my agate luck yesterday with that monster agate. So, either way, I am more than happy. We got some amazing stuff. I'm really excited to prep those baculites and just in time to get two nice hunts in before the snow comes back. So it's gonna be a while. <laughs> Hopefully not too long, but it's gonna be a while. Anyway, let's get back to the shop, get everything cleaned off, and I will see you there. All right, we are back to the shop. Much later than I planned on. Sorry, I missed uh, an upload last week. I never do that. You guys, my, you know, long-term viewers know I never miss an upload. So that should tell you how sick I was over the course of last week. I pretty much got out of bed, like, to eat and 
go to the bathroom, and then I'd go right back to bed. It sucked. Anyway, though, I am mostly better and back to the shop, and I have all the rocks cleaned off, so let's take a look. All right, so we're going to start with agates. <clears throat> oh, my, my voice is still not back, apparently. Excuse me. Anyway, we're starting with agates, and uh, we didn't actually get very many agates, probably because I used up all of my agate luck for the, the week the day before with that monster agate. <laughs> but we did get some nice ones. This one has some nice moss. Some good dendrites, that'll be a good little cutter. Uh, same with this one. This one is really nice and mossy. It actually has its, um, uh, it's not gonna show now that I got it wet. I should have done that first. Well, when agates erode out of the salt, they're covered in a uh, calcite lining, Montana agates anyway. And sometimes, you know, usually, generally speaking, as they wear down the river, all of those marks get uh, worn off. But, sorry, it's grabbing a paper towel so I can actually demonstrate this. But sometimes you get a fresher agate. See all of those little slots? That is actually where the points of calcite crystals would have been going into. Also, this thing has some great bands. That's going to be really, really pretty. And we did get one really nice agate. It's smaller, but oh man, that is a dark agate. That is going to be so nice. I adore cutting into these because these are usually some of the best agates. Oh, it's so dark. So dark. Next we have jaspers and we got some really cool ones. These are gonna cut really, really nice. Look at how much detail is in there. Actually, I can get closer. Kinda just looks like a red rock from a distance, but there is so much stuff going on in here. Definitely gonna have to cut that, I think. Soon, actually, more on that at the end of the video. Then we got this right here, which we find brown brushiated jaspers all the time. But this one's different and I love it. So this is a brown brushiated jasper, but it has green pockets. And I'm sure I've made it abundantly clear throughout our many, many rock hunts that um, any day I find a green jasper is a good day. So <laughs> I love that. And then we got this, which is just so weird. Again, on the surface, it kind of just looks like a, a brown jasper. But then you get up close, and there is just so much going on in there. Look how busy that is. That is gonna make really, really interesting slabs, I think. That texture is just wild. Next is agonized wood, and oh my gosh, we got some nice agonized wood. Sorry, I'm getting it wet. One sec. Look at how colorful that is. But also, it's brushiated with calcedony in there. That is gonna be amazing. I absolutely cannot wait to cut that because it's gonna be amazing. I just said that, but it's worth repeating. But believe it or not, this one is even better. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I gotta get farther away so you can actually get the whole thing on frame. Not only is it crazy multicolored, look at the red in there, then you flip it over it's got more red and bright yellows and oranges. Like, that is so, so colorful. Not only that, when you get up close and look at the grain, only the grain is colored. All of the space in between the grain has been replaced with chalcedony. Which means this is gonna make just flipping insane slabs. I cannot wait to cut this thing open. I probably won't cut the whole thing just because it's such a cool specimen, but I definitely want some slabs off of this thing. That is so cool, look at that! And lastly would be fossils. We actually got a shocking amount of very, very nice fossils. I am very excited to prep the rest of this. That with the polish is going to be really, really pretty. Here, this one might show. I'm trying to, there we go. Yeah, see how colorful they are? With a polish, they're gonna be just gorgeous. But this one here was definitely the nicest. Look at how busy that death plate is. So we've got clam, clam, there's clams throughout the whole thing, and then if you look close, you just, there's just baculites everywhere throughout this whole thing, just loaded. If you look at the cross sections, there's even more underneath there. There's one right there. We flip it over, big clam right here. There's a negative actually another one underneath it and then check this out that's a baculite right there and look at the crystal pocket from the chamber that is so cool that is so cool 
Man, what a good first two days of the season. So we filled our agate lust very well on the first day with that monster, and then I got to sate my need for other stuff on the next day, because it was mostly fossils and, and amazing agonized wood. guys i think that is going to do it for this one again huge apology for missing last week you guys know i never miss an upload so um it's it's serious if i don't post a video <laughs> without giving away any spoilers uh, i made a huge announcement today in another video so um when you're done here i would definitely go watch that there will be a link in the description it's exciting and it also explains why i am covered in dust my hair is like three shades lighter right now i am super excited to do something that we were not able to do last year which is um next video we're going to be taking a lot of the rocks that we found in the last two videos and cut them and see what's inside which is again just so exciting because we don't have to wait for a cutting day we can just yeah see what was inside last week and this week other than that link which you uh will lead you to a video which you should definitely watch after this um i'll also have links to various other things in the description on an unrelated note um it is coming up on 70 degrees this week. Last week, uh, why we wanted to go out multiple times was because there was supposedly snow on the way and there was absolutely snow on the way. We got like a whiteout blizzard here in Billings. Luckily, I was asleep the whole time because I was sick. But anyway, uh, it's gone and this week it's supposed to be up to 70 degrees. So we will absolutely be going back out this week. So keep your eyes out for that. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time.